Hello, my name is James Hall, and today I will show you why you should use a new plugin from Creative Impatience called Pure Contrast. This plugin is designed to allow you to adjust the contrast of your image in a very realistic way. To show you what I mean, let me give you an example. What I have on the screen here is a little gradient. Um, the left side's a little bit darker to the right, and if I look at the waveform, you can see that, it, that gradient here in the line. Now the reason I chose this color is because it's supposed to simulate skin tones. Um, so here is our original uh, gradient. Now if I want to add a bit of contrast to it, what I can do is, using the Pure Contrast plugin, adjust the offset down and bring up the gain. That gives us this. So you can see that the left side is now darker, and the right side is roughly the same. So we've added contrast, and you can see the effect. Uh, the color uh, remains pretty consistent other than its lightness. And it looks kind of how you would expect. Now, for the next clip, I try to do the same adjustment in RGB curves. Um, the RGB curves that you have in Premiere works in the same way that most other exposure tools in, in uh, these suites work, in that it operates on the RGB color channels. So let's have a look at that. And here it is. So right away, you can see there's a big difference. Um, it kind of goes from a deep red to a, a brighter yellow. Now I'm going to flip through these, and I want you to keep an eye here, down here, at the, uh, at the waveform. So you can see right now it goes from about 30 up to about 70. Go back to our, our uh, Pure Contrast plugin. This one still goes from 30 to 70. Now the image here resembles the original image, except that, you know, we've added contrast. With the RGB curves, we've added uh, A, a lot of saturation, and B, um, we've added redness to the shadows. So you can see how this really affects skin tones in a real shot. So let's go to a real shot here. Um, here's some footage that I shot today. Uh, just a bus stop in front of my office. Uh, you'll see this girl comes up, has a look at this uh, sign, and then uh, Right here, we have a pretty good shot of, uh, of her face that we can use to uh, analyze how adding contrast affects skin tones. So, um, the first thing to do here is to add contrast to the image. And in this clip, I've set up some basic contrast curve using the Pure Contrast plugin. And that's what it looks like. You see that I've added quite a bit just because I want to really emphasize the, uh, the difference that the Pure Contrast plugin has versus um, plugins like, or sorry, tools like RGB Curves. So um, you'll see that our image looks a little bit desaturated. So turn on Fast Color Corrector and bump up the saturation. You see you've bumped it up from 100 to 165. And here's our image. Um, I'll show you the original and know what we've done to it. Again, just adding contrast, it looks kind of how you would expect. In this adjustment, I've really crushed the blacks just so we can get some contrast across the face here. Because that's where you're going to see the biggest difference is uh, skin tones. Uh, that's one of the range of colors that really gets affected by, uh, by RGB curves. So let's move over to another clip. Uh, sorry, another version of the same clip. And here I've set up a similar curve um, to simulate the exact same effect but using RGB curves. So here it is. Now, before I go any further, just have a look at the waveform down here. You'll see that between the two clips, they are very similar. Um, now you'll notice that this, sorry, that this RGB clips, uh, RGB curves clip, has a bit more saturation. Uh, if we have a look here at the vector scope, and I flip through them, uh, they look roughly the same, except you can see that uh, the left side here is a little farther out. So let's let's bring down the saturation. Uh, I'm going to do it above, uh, sorry, before we apply the RGB curves effect because we don't want to be clipping any of the, if, if any of these channels are clipping, then bringing down the uh, saturation will be biased. So I'll bring it down a little bit. Um, now I'm going to flip through the RGB curves and the pure contrast clip again. And you'll see that now we're much, uh, much closer to the same effect. But you'll notice that this, this little tail down here, you can see a nice little gentle curve. If you get up here, it's a lot steeper. Now, the saturation in the vector scope is the distance from the center. Here we can see that the direction actually changes versus this or this. This is our original clip. 
pure contrast, RGB curves. The curve gets bent because at this point, we're no longer just affecting saturation, we're also affecting the hue. So what does that all mean for our clip? Well, to show you, I'm going to have a little close-up on, uh, on the face here. Um, let me zoom in. Go fit 200%. So here's our face. Um, the first thing that you'll notice if I flip through them uh, back and forth here is there appear to be a, a little difference in saturation. Um, now, the biggest difference really, though, is, is the, uh, the consistency of the color. So if you have a look from uh, the highlights here down to the shadows, we have a nice smooth roll off, um, all the consistent skin tone, right? Now, if I move over to the RGB curves clip, You'll notice that the highlights are a little bit, a little bit yellow, kind of a, a cooler tone, and the shadows here a little red, and that's the big effect here. If we flip through it again a couple more times, you'll see that the RGB curves clip it kind of, it kind of brings the life out of her. I mean, the, the shadows are good and rich, but then the, uh, the rest of her face that's that's well lit kind of lose some of its uh, liveliness versus this, where sure maybe it's all. Uh, Maybe it's not quite as saturated, but all the color is consistent. If that's the case, then all we have to do is bring up the saturation of her face a little bit using a secondary correction. And there we go. We have a nice, a nice saturated face versus this. So again, uh, here are the two shots. This is pure contrast. This is RGB curves. You can see that her, her skin tone doesn't really look as natural as it does in the pure contrast clip. That's because we're, pre we're preserving the hue and the saturation of our skin when we adjust contrast of the image. Now this effect isn't limited just to RGB curves. Um, if we use something like the Luma curve, it won't, affect, uh, it won't affect the hue, but it will affect the saturation. Right now there's nothing out there that'll do this effect other than pure contrast. Pure contrast is available at creativeimpatience.com. Thanks for watching.